scheduling and starting an eBoulevard meeting. eBoulevard Online Meetings is an easy-to-use web meeting service that lets you start or reschedule a web meeting with fingertip ease. You can meet instantly or schedule a pre-arranged meeting. Scheduling your meeting If you're having an instant ad hoc meeting, right-click the eBoulevard icon in your system tray and choose Meet Now when the menu appears. For ease of use, you can save your password so that you don't have to authenticate each time you use this method. Or, you can sign into your account at eBoulevard.com and click the Meet Now button. You can invite your ad hoc meeting attendees by email, telephone, or instant message. If you're on the phone with your client or associate, simply direct them to your always available, always customizable meeting room located at meetings.eboulevard.com slash your username and read them your ad hoc meeting code. Or copy and paste the meeting location to any social networking or instant messenger service. When scheduling a future meeting, you use the Schedule a Meeting function, which lets you specify several options for your meeting. These options include meeting date and time, pre-registration, and teleconference options. To schedule a future meeting, right-click the eBoulevard icon in the system tray and choose Schedule Meeting when the menu appears. Or, open a web browser to sign into your account at eBoulevard.com and click the Schedule Meeting button. Specify a meeting name or topic. Enter the meeting date, start time and duration, select teleconference and pre-registration options, and indicate whether the meeting will recur. You can also add additional details to your meeting invitations, such as presenter PC and contact info, private access code for your meeting, whether to make the meeting public or private, and the agenda to follow. Once you've scheduled your meeting, you can choose one of three methods to invite your attendees. You can invite your attendees by email, telephone, or instant message. To invite attendees by email invitation, you can enter multiple comma-separated addresses or use your eBoulevard address book for regular attendees. You can also customize the message in the invitation, as well as save the message as a default for future meetings. If you'd like to send yourself a copy of the invite, simply check the Send Me a Copy checkbox. A unique meeting ID is created for each meeting. This ID is entered by your attendees in your customizable meeting room located at meetings.eboulevard.com slash your username. Once scheduled, you can save your meeting info in most calendar applications, including Outlook, Lotus Notes, Google, Yahoo, or Facebook. Starting your meeting. Regardless of whether you're conducting an ad hoc or a previously scheduled meeting, starting your eBoulevard meeting is always the same. To start your meeting, you'll need to invoke the Meeting Manager applet. This applet controls and manages the meeting and participant functions, as well as advanced options such as live annotation, file transfers, VOIP, and meeting recording. You can invoke your Meeting Manager in one of two ways. The easiest and quickest way is to right-click the eBoulevard icon in the system tray and choose Open Meeting Manager when the menu appears. Alternately, you can sign into your account at eBoulevard.com, select your meeting, then click the Open Meeting Manager button. If you've set up a teleconference, you'll join the call by dialing the phone number and access code. A teleconference connects multiple parties together at the same time and provides the audio portion of your meeting. From your Meeting Manager, you'll see your participants arrive to your meeting one by one in the waiting room. While your attendees are waiting for you to begin, their view will be basic meeting and teleconference information with instructions. When you're ready, simply hit the Share button on your Meeting Manager to broadcast your screen to all of your attendees at once in high-definition, view-only mode. You can now share any presentation, application, file, website, video, or other content that you can access from your PC. Once a meeting has started, You'll be notified by a pop-up if a latecomer attempts to attend your meeting in progress. Latecomers will be granted or denied permission by you to join a meeting in progress. You can either leave the meeting manager open or minimize it to begin presenting your meeting content. Even though the meeting manager display is not broadcast to your participants, you may want to minimize it so that you have a full desktop view. 
you will need to re-invoke the meeting manager to use the text chat or other advanced function, or to pause or end your meeting. To do so, right-click the eBoulevard icon in your system tray and choose the Open Meeting Manager menu option. Your meeting and associated teleconference can go on as long as needed. When you've finished the meeting, simply hang up the telephone and re-invoke the meeting manager on your PC. Clicking the Stop button will stop the remote broadcast of your screen. Once your remote attendees close their browser windows, they'll drop off of the participant list. You can also force their browsers to close by choosing the End Meeting option from the File menu. Your eBoulevard online meeting service also features live annotation, meeting recording, surveys, VOIP, transferring files, and advanced meeting registration. These topics and others will be covered in the Conducting an eBoulevard Meeting tutorial.